So just got finished watching Michigan lose another road game, this time to Notre Dame. And I, you know, now that we're talking uh, football season, um, the only thing I could think of was Chicago Bears and what is arguably um, another mistake from the Bears franchise. So my name is Frank Katsukria, and this is five minutes of why the Chicago Bears may have the worst front office in the National Football League. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this. This is my uh, third video and my first one about football. Now, uh, if you're Khalil Mack, you don't care what I think right now because you have $90 million guaranteed, a six-year contract extension of one forty one. Really what that is is a four-year deal. Uh, $60 million is uh, guaranteed the second uh, he gets into camp as a signing bonus. So that's uh, $10 million a year against the cap. It's 30 additional guarantee. That's probably going to be about 16 17 He was going to get 13.8 with that uh, fifth-year extension on his rookie deal if he would have stayed with the Raiders. Um, for him, it's a great day. But for Chicago, um, they spent uh, you know a lot of money on 22-inch rims for Honda Accord. And uh, I, I, Mack is the best defensive end in the league. There's no, there's no uh, doubt about it right now, uh, at least from last year. But is he worth it? Now the Bears, <laughs> they don't know how anything. They don't know what to do with the front office. Remember, this is the franchise that uh, uh, for years had uh, Brandon Marshall, and of course Jay Cutler, who never saw a playoff game. And then last year, of course, they to go up a single spot for a quarterback that they didn't start until week five. They gave up a third, a fourth, and then this year's third. And is Trubisky the best quarterback in the NFC North? Is he the second best quarterback in the NFC North? You can make an argument he's not even the third best quarterback in the NFC North. Now, I'm not a Matthew Stafford fan, but he's not a franchise quarterback. The Trubisky, at least not now. Now, there is no amount of money that you would give, or excuse me, there's no amount of money you wouldn't give to get the franchise. Look, the Giants back in 2003, to move up three spots, gave a second, a fourth, a sixth, and the, no, a second, a fourth, the sixth and then the next year, number one, to get Eli Manning and two Super Bowl MVPs later. Yeah, that was probably the right move for him. Uh, but Chicago, uh, this deal is is pretty bad when you think about it. The salary cap is $177 million for 53 guys. Now, most teams carry about 15 to $20 million of cap for guys that are no longer on the team. Um Remember, when you have a guaranteed contract, the salary cap um, hit on the bonus goes over the length of the contract, even if you cut the guy. So if you guy got a five-year deal, it's um, but you're only going to pay the guy for three years. If you paid him a $15 million signing bonus, three gets hit in year four, and three gets hit in year five. You are paying Khalil Mack basically, if it's essentially a four-year deal, you're paying him 10% of your cap this year. And even if it rises $10 million a year for what you're going to be paying them for years two, three, and four, you're putting 10% of your cap to a position player that, quite frankly, will not decide games. Khalil Mack is a great player, but the analytical guy nerds out there who can go with the NFL version of what baseball will call war, uh, you know, that's wins against replacement. I don't know what the NFL technical term for it is, but the only position that uh, causes more than a, a game difference is quarterback. The other one is head coach. You're spending an awful lot of money on rims on a tire for a Honda Accord. Are the Bears the best defense in the NFC North? Probably not. And now next year you're going to be giving up a number one and a number the number one pick and a number six round pick. And the year after that, you're giving up a number one and a number three for a second and a conditional five. For a franchise that, on the Oakland side, is uh, they couldn't be happier. They're 
they're going to be in Vegas in 2020. And uh, while you may be getting a really high number to pick because nobody wants to necessarily go to Oakland as a quality free agent, knowing that you're going to be packing your bags up the next year to go to Vegas. Um, Oakland is getting way better by 2020. Um, when they have that first year in Vegas, they'll be playoff bound and Chicago will be doing what they always do, which is golfing in January and February. Um, I think they kind of overtake the Dolphins on this as the world's uh, worst front office, at least for this season. The Dolphins at least have gotten their act together. They uh, got rid of their uh, expensive rim when they sent Don Kasu packing to go to, to the Rams. And uh, the Rams may be a couple players away. Maybe this was a good move for them to spend, you know, $30 million in cap space for a couple defensive players on the line. But Chicago, not so much. This was 5 Minutes with Frank and Sakria. And uh, again, like and subscribe. And uh, football season is four days away. I know college was tonight, but the real season starts on Saturday, on uh, Thursday. All right. Have a great night.